we'd like to briefly share some best practices for doing a bioimage analysis workflow. I'm Ann Carpenter from the Broad Institute and co-leader of the Cell Profiler Project. I'm Kevin Alceri of the University of Wisconsin Madison of the ImageJ Project. One of the most fundamental aspects of bioimage analysis is to remember to keep your data. It's important you retain the original raw images. If you do that, you can always go back to the data for your own use or when you share with colleagues, they can analyze it a different way. To make this possible, we invented bioformats that can open up hundreds of proprietary formats so you can keep your data in its raw format and then do your own analysis. Once you've settled on an analysis procedure, it's also critical to document what was done. The same way that you would document a wet lab experiment in biology where you would know like what happened to your data set or what solution you made, it's equally important to document your protocol for your image analysis. This is done for your papers, so your methods you can write what was done, but also for sharing with colleagues. It's very important to take notes on what you do and what tool you use. Some software makes this documentation automatic. For example, in Cell Profiler, when you run any pipeline that you've constructed, the pipeline and all its settings are stored in the output file right alongside the results. You can export the pipeline and email it to a friend or submit it as supplementary data alongside a paper. And tools such as Jupyter Notebook are really making this easier. The Jupyter Notebook is exploding in popularity because it's built to be a web-based tool that allows you to type in commands and see the results. It takes a bit more effort than maybe some other tools but as you learn it, you can learn how to take available functions and easily track what was done to your data set and see the results of analysis as you go, and even better, be able to share that with others. And finally, be sure to safely store your data, and even better, share it. There's an iBiology video on this topic from Jason Swedlo. There are many choices, from using Omero that Jason discusses, to public repositories such as the Image Data Repository and the Cell Image Library. We hope you've learned the basics in this video series and are eager to explore the ways you can quantify biology through microscopy. Check out our supplementary videos and the related topics in the iBiology series to learn more.